99 out the third park tunnel. Hey guys, Gogzy here and welcome to a brand new video. Today it's my first video of 2019. Can we hit 50 likes please? Uh, we're going to start doing this consistently now. I wanted to start the year by doing a sketch just like I did last year. But it caught my attention that Motherwell have two players down at the moment. So we're going to be looking back at the time that was spent at Fur Park by Andy Rose and Ryan Bowman. Also, we have loaned Barry Maguire out to Queen of the South for those who didn't know. So first of all, we're going to look at Ryan Bowman because he spent a lot more time at Fur Park than Andy Rose did. So, Bowie, this is your time, mate. So when Mark McGee was at the club, he signed Ryan Bowman. Uh, for I think it was roughly about £18,000 uh, from Gateshead. I think that's off the top of my head. Maybe eighteen and a half grand, But it's still a small transfer fee. But I thought it was a bargain for what we got from Bowman. Because with uh, the eighteen grand, let us just keep at that. Uh, that's us spending probably about a grand a goal. Because he scored 18 goals. Some of them were non-competitive, but he still, he still scored them. What comes for free is his effort, the 100% he gave every single time he pulled on that Clark Amber jersey, and I completely respect him for that. Yeah, he didn't score as many goals as other players have done in that time. However, he did provide the entertainment of uh, the wee elbow at Hamden. Uh, Rangers fans, I'm sure, will still be a bit annoyed about that, but uh, that was entertainment itself. Don't worry, I'm not going to do a Peter Hartley and say it was fun watching them weep. But Bowie was a great asset to the club and I got a few photos with him over the time that he was at the club. And honestly, he was just a gent, to be honest. He's one of the nicest guys in football that I've met and I wish him all the best at Exeter. Now Exeter fans, those who have clicked on the video, first of all, welcome to the channel. And second of all, Here's a wee montage of what you can expect from Ryan Bowman. Your socks and shoes right off. That natural light is so damn polite, can make you feel just like you were young again. Oh.
I'm sorry there. Oh. That last goal that Bowman scored sort of threw the camera off balance because it did not expect such a pile driver. That is Ryan Bowman wrapped up and signed, sealed and delivered to Exeter because uh, Jaden Stockley who flopped at Aberdeen uh, was back doing well at Exeter and like every club under the sun had basically uh, triggered his uh, clause in his contract or something like that. I'm, I'm not that interested in it so I'm just bringing you the facts. And of course the other player that has left permanently from Motherwell is Andy Rose, the, the sort of unsung hero of the team I would say. Uh, he's that sort of player that if you don't notice him in a game, he's done nothing wrong. Of course he's moved across now to Vancouver Whitecaps. Now this was a strange one because he was at Seattle Sounders, then I think he went to Coventry City, then he came up to Motherwell. And because he was at Seattle Sounders, uh, Vancouver Whitecaps purchased the licence for him. And Seattle Sounders are the club that is two clubs ago that he played at. So, what what does that mean? Someone please explain to me in the comments because I'm still confused to how this panned out. But as far as I'm concerned, we got 50k for him as well, so that'll be that'll do nicely. Even though I'm still scratching my head, uh, but yeah, uh, we've we've lost one of our key players in my opinion because. Andy Rose was our Aussie enforcer, if you will. <laughs> now, believe it or not, I don't actually think I've spoken to Andy Rose before, so... Mm. I'm sorry Andy if you're watching this and uh, never came up to say hello or anything like that. Because that's what I usually try and do, like, I try and harass people because I love it. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, that is just a wee roundup of Motherwell's transfers so far. Uh, there is the worst kept secret in Scottish football right now that we are supposedly signing Ross McCormack. But it's not official yet, so I'm not saying anything until it's actually been confirmed. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like down below if you want more of the Sazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Mon Noel!